Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Katie, for those who have for some reason forgotten, and this is Books R Us. So today um, is actually pre-challenge, and then throughout the challenge, my this is my own personal challenge, and then throughout my own personal challenge, um, I will be updating it um, and seeing how I am. I don't know how long this will take. There's, I didn't give myself a time limit. So um, throughout this challenge, I will be reading the books on my TBR that have the earliest publishing date. Um, so I am going to go to Goodreads right now and see which books those are. I um, organized this, my want to read shelf by date published. So that's kind of what I'm going off of and I'll choose the five oldest published books on my TBR and let's see what happens. So the first one I see is the Iliad, Homer's the Iliad. Um, I've read the kids version of this, oh, way back when, back in like sixth grade. Um, but I've never actually read the uh, full version before, so it should be fairly, um, I don't know, it was published in uh, 720 uh, BC, so we'll see how much I like that book. Um, if you haven't noticed, I like a lot of the modern, current stuff, so this challenge is going to be quite a challenge but yeah we're going to be starting off with the iliad next one is the odyssey again read this as a kid the kids version but haven't read um the full version yet um if you don't know what these two books are the iliad and the odyssey iliad um is the trojan war the odyssey is one man's journey back from the trojan war basically um so this should be interesting. That was published in, again, 720 BC. Uh, roughly, roughly. These dates they're just guessed at. A lot, I think so. I, a lot of them are. Um, because of lack of documentation. Aesop's Fables. I actually haven't read all of Aesop's Fables in, like, one volume. Um, I, I've read, like, you know, The Tortoise and the Hare and all of that. It's fun stuff, but I haven't actually read all of them. I don't have a copy with me. I don't own a copy, so I actually put that one on hold. Um, so hopefully it'll get to me before I go to the next one. Because I'm, I'm trying to read these in order um, of publishing date. Um, let's see. The next one is the Aeneid of Virgil. This one is... Um, the other side of the Trojan War. So the Iliad is the Trojan War. The Odyssey is the Greek side of after the war. The Aeneid of Virgil is the Trojan side of after the war and what happened. The Aeneid is basically setting up Rome and how Rome was set up. I believe. I hope so. Because that's what I've been telling myself for the past decade of my life when I bought this. Um, but yeah, so that's all Greek stuff. We have Greek, three Greek books right now and then Aesop's Fables, which I don't know where Aesop's Fables are from, honestly. Um, the next book that I will be reading... Oh, a longer one again. Uh, the Tales from the Arabian Nights. Um, very, very lengthy. Um, but I will say at this point, we are at 800 AD. Aesop's fables were 560 BC. Aeneid of Virgil was 19 BC. So we're finally in AD with Tales from the Arabian Nights. Um, if you don't know what this is, this is Scheherazade basically telling a bunch of stories to this king who she married but wants to kill her. So yeah, those are the five books um, that are the earliest published books on my TBR right now. Um, and I will be updating you throughout 
the whole process. It is November 12th, and hopefully I will finish all of these. I want to say hopefully by the end of the month, but realistically, it'll probably be the end of the year, so end of December, <laughs> um, given the nature of the books and how they're formatted and the length of Arabian Nights. Um, so yeah, so hopefully I will finish that soon and I will keep you updated. Um, hi everyone. So I just started the Iliad yesterday on the subway. Uh, not the best idea because of how hard I had to concentrate on who was saying what and what they were saying. But I got through chapter one, which got me to page 13 out of like 288. So it, it's pretty good so far. You know, I've seen Troy. I've read this as a kid, but the kids version. So I, I've, had, I've had exposure. So it's about a week into me reading this guy, the Iliad. And oh my gosh, it's good. It's just the wording isn't what I'm used to because, you know, it's 2,000 years old. Um, so I'm only about halfway through right now. Yeah, I'm not going to get this done by the end of November, the whole challenge, because <laughs> I still have the rest of the Iliad, the Odyssey, Aesop's Fables, Aeneid, as well as, um, what is the last one? Arabian Nights. So it'll probably be more like December. Hopefully. If you don't know what it's about, it's about like the last week of the Trojan War. Um, which basically started because someone stole someone else's wife. And the war lasted 10 years. Guess what I just finished? So I, on the way home today, I finished the Iliad. Um, so that took almost two weeks to read. <laughs> Um, basically because I'm not used to reading that kind of thing. It was a translation from poetry to prose and then, you know, ancient Greek to modern-ish English. Um, so that kind of helped, but at the same time, I wasn't used to reading speeches that people were giving to dead guys, basically. <laughs> that was like half of the book. They had like shortened that to like one or two sentences. The book would have been like half as long. There was no Trojan horse. Um, they didn't leave Troy or anything, but um, Ach Achilles finally got into battle because Patroclus, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, died and he, Achilles, wanted to avenge him. It. But yeah, I'm finally done with the Iliad, and I am going to be going on to the Odyssey, which is um, Odysseus's travels home from the Trojan War, um, which then take another 10 years. But now that I know what Homer's writing style is, hopefully the Odyssey will take less time. Um, it is shorter by about 60 pages, so hopefully I uh, will breeze through that a bit better. But yeah, I'm hoping to get this done soon. I won't get this done by the end of November, which is when I thought I originally was going to get it done. But it is November 27th, and there's absolutely no way I'm going to get all of these, these four books done in that amount of time. So I finally started the Odyssey. Odyssey is interesting so far. It's like the last um, 60 days, I think, ish, of um, Odysseus's uh, journey home, which takes a total of 10 years. This is where you learn about the Trojan horse, <coughs> sorry, um, from the Trojan War, which I thought would be in the Iliad, but then wasn't. And is now in the Odyssey. And something else I've noticed. In this one, Homer uses the Greek names for the god. In the Iliad, he uses the Roman names for the gods. So that, I thought, was really interesting. Um, right now, um, Odysseus is finally off of Calypso's island. And 
um, landed on land and is sleeping. Basically, that's where I'm at right now. Um, so hopefully, we will. I will get more into that this week and finish it this week. But because I want to continue on to Aesop's Fables and the two other ones that I have on this list and finish them by the time New Year's runs ro rolls around, which is in four or five weeks. So it's about a week later and I finally finished the Odyssey. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Um, it's a lot of Odysseus telling what happened. So basically the story, it, the story itself takes place within like a month and a half. But half of the story is Odysseus telling people what had happened in the 10 years since the tro end of the Trojan War. Um, so in that case, it was a little annoying, um, but I am glad I read it. Um, it ended on a kind of weird note, like they, Odysseus was back with his son and some of the townspeople didn't like that they were back, so they wanted to fight. Um, and it was like, within the last sentence, there is peace. Like, that's what it says, basically, is that there's peace. And that was the last sentence. I'm like, okay. Um, so I'm not sure if that was a part of we don't have the rest of the text, because it was written by Homer way back when, or what? I forgot to mention yesterday that what my next book was. So my next book, sorry about the hair, I just realized that. Um, my next book that I am reading in this challenge is Aesop's Fables. Um, fairly short, um, just like a collection of stories, um, fables. So that hopefully should be fairly easy to go through. Hopefully I'll be done by that with that in the next few days. Um, because the Aeneid and... The Arabian Nights are fairly long, um, and I want to finish this by uh, the end of the year, so hopefully I'll finish this soon. Um, again, I flipped through it, so it looks fairly easy to do. So I am so close to being done with this book. Started it Saturday, it is now Monday, I have like five pages left, which I'm going to read on the way to the uh, work training that I have. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, really close. Could have finished it yesterday, honestly. So yes, I finished Aesop's Fables within five minutes of getting on the train. Um, so that's done. Um, but now I am on to the Aeneid, um, which is basically what happened after the war to the Trojans. Never read it, don't know anything about it. Yeah, so that should be interesting. I'm gonna start that today. Hopefully it doesn't take long. Um, it's translated but it's translated in verse rather than prose, um, which is different than the Odyssey and the Iliad, which I read. So first day done with the Aeneid. Um, I've never really learned how to say that right. Um, I'm about 30 pages in, sorry, 22 pages in out of like 300. Okay, so far, I mean, I'm used to Homer and it's kind of written in the style of Homer, but of course it's Virgil. So it's different. They're out of Troy and just landed somewhere. I don't know where, but they landed for somewhere for help. That's kind of where they're at right now at 22 pages in. I don't know how, where it could go from here, but there's another 300 pages. So we'll see. I just finished the Aeneid um, and it was quite interesting. It was written quite a while after the Iliad and the Odyssey by a different author, um, obviously Virgil versus Homer. Um, still great. Um, it was a little dull at points. Like Aeneas, he talked for 40 freaking pages. Oh my gosh, it was so hard to get through. Anyways, um, yeah, it ended at a really weird point but you could definitely tell that the story was written after all this had happened. Aeneas goes down into Hades and meets his dad. Um, and then his dad gives like prophecies to him about different things that are going to happen that you wouldn't have known way back when. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it was... I'm glad I read it. Will I read it again? No. Um, 
But my next and final book for this challenge is this hefty book, Tales from the Arabian Nights. Um, this was translated, this version I have here was translated by Sir Richard Francis Burton. Um, I know he's done something else. I don't remember what. Um, but other than that, I do know that I, well, I don't know. I believe that this was anonymous previously. Like, we're not 100% sure, sure who wrote this. With the holidays coming up, I am tra I'm going to be traveling with this big big book. Compare that to this little tiny thing. So I don't know why I didn't switch it. Well, I do know why. I switched it. Well, I had it that way because of that's how they were published. So I've been reading in order of publishing dates rather than size, if that makes sense. So we're still working on Arabian Nights. Finally got about halfway through, which is 330 pages, which is about the length of the other ones, like individually. Um, so, yeah, it's interesting so far. I finally finished Aladdin, um, so that was interesting, because in Aladdin, there's a mom, a dad's died, and there's no monkey, he has no friends, so that was interesting. Um, I'm on Alibaba and the 40 Thieves right now, um, page four something, so I'm hoping to get this done. It is the 29th of December. I'm hoping to get this done by the 31st. I'm hoping I will because tomorrow I have off so I can spend all day reading tomorrow. Well, I just finished today Arabian Nights. I finished it, let me show you that. There we go, that thick book. Um, I just finished it like 30 minutes ago. Pretty good. Uh, Shahrazad's story throughout was interesting. I really liked it if you have the time. Uh, definitely give it a read or at least try reading it. I know it's a little long um, So maybe find one that's like broken up into two sections do it that way um, but Definitely something to look into Woohoo! I did it um, Took me about two months, but I finished this mini challenge um, Didn't help that all the books were written a super long time ago, so I wasn't used to the writing style and yeah, um, definitely consider reading at least one of these books. Maybe Aesop's Fables, because that's the easiest to read, but everything else um, is super interesting. I, for me, it would, would probably be Aesop's Fables, then um, Arabian Nights, then the Greek ones, <laughs> then Iliad, Odyssey, Aeneid. Um, in terms of which ones I liked the best. You can find more information of like my ratings and my reviews on Goodreads. I'll leave those there. But this is kind of my wrap up of that. And yes, I did finish that it last night, which was the 31st. Today is the first of the new year. So I get to start out with a whole new blank slate with what I am reading, which is really good. And um, yeah, so I'm excited to read some new books this year new books like this year not from like two three thousand years ago so um what's the oldest book you published published what's the oldest published book you've read there we go um i want to know what you what's the oldest book on your shelf let me know in the comments below and i will see it you guys later peace out everyone